amplifier troubleshooting. So you have everything done, and there is no sound? There are a couple of things we can check. First, let's make sure the amp has power. Is the LED on? If not, be sure the power, ground, and amp turn-on wire are connected to the correct inputs. Next, go to the fuse and check to see if it's blown. If so, we'll need to check a couple of connections. Check to be sure the amp's power wire is not being pinched and shorted to any metal surface. Make sure no part of the connector or wire is touching any metal point in the vehicle. If everything looks good, replace the fuse and try again. Still no power? We will need to check the power at the amp. If you have any questions, feel free to consult Skosh technical support. Okay, let's say the amp is on, but there is no sound. Check to be sure your speakers are connected to the amp correctly. Double check the positive and negative wire on each speaker. If you have wired the amp into bridge mode, make sure the speaker is connected to the correct speaker terminals at the amp. Still no sound? Check the RCAs. Make sure they are connected securely at the radio and to the amplifier. There are typically three warning LEDs to help you troubleshoot possible installation problems. The low voltage LED will light if the amplifier is not getting enough input voltage from the car battery. This may be caused by the power wire gauge being too small or the ground wire not being connected properly. Make sure your vehicle's battery is in good condition. The overload LED will light if too many speakers are connected to the speaker output connectors. Connect no more than two speakers on each channel in parallel and one speaker when operating in the bridged mode. The thermal LED will light if a speaker wire short is detected or if the amplifier reaches an unsafe high temperature. To reset, turn the system off and back on. If you are still having problems, feel free to contact Skosh Technical Support. They will help you get your system up and running. Enjoy!